Oh my god! <laughs> I literally opened my mouth to speak and she barked at me. Do you want to go outside? Is that what it is? Hi guys, so I was literally just about to say that this video might be a little bit different uh, Well, I mean obviously it's different for the obvious reasons that I'm sitting in my living room But what I mean is that we've got a very excited pinky that's a bit confused about this camera equipment and all of the presents and stuff and so Yeah, if we have any pinky interruptions or if you hear any scratching noises or sniffing or chewing toys or anything That's just pinky. Anyway Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my living room. Uh, sorry if it's a bit more echoey in here and there's a weird, there's some like weird humming in the background. It's probably just the Xbox because James is also sitting next to me. Hello. <laughs> so I hope you all had a good Christmas despite the circumstances. I know that this Christmas this year was different for a lot of people, including myself and including James. We had Christmas just the two of us here because we are blessed enough to be in tier four, tier four gang. Um, so it was just the two of us and Pinky and yeah, we weren't able to go around to our parents' house, which was sad, but I know that we're so lucky that we had each other and weren't completely alone because I know that some people this year spent Christmas completely by themselves. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I just hope you're okay. I hope you're doing well and I hope you had a good 25th of December anyway. Um, but yeah, I was kind of undecided whether or not to do this video this year. 2020 has been such a rough year for a lot of people and I know that a lot of people have lost jobs and been unemployed or furloughed and so I was undecided whether or not to do it because I never want to be pushing gifts in people's faces. Like, I don't want this video to come across as being like, oh, look at what I got, look at my life. Like, do you know what I mean? I asked you guys on Twitter and I think it was, actually, what were the results? I think it was 88% said, yes, please do it. And the other 12% said, no, they don't want to see it. So I hope that if you're one of those people that didn't want to see this, I will not be offended if you don't watch this video. But yeah, so many people in the comments were like, Soph, please just do it because this year enough things have been cancelled already. And I know that quite a lot of people actually look forward to these videos. I'm actually one of those people that's really nosy and quite enjoys seeing what other people have got. Also as well, I just want to mention, I've decided that I'm going to donate all of the AdSense from this video. So all of the money that I earned from this video is going to go to Crisis Text Line, which is the company that owns Shout. And I did actually tweet about Shout on, I think it was whenever they did the tier four announcement. And it's basically a text service where if you feel like you're struggling, you can text them rather than call them and they will get back to you and you can talk to them if you're suffering with mental health issues. And Shout as a company is owned by Crisis Text Line because for some reason there was no donate button on the Shout website. But then when I clicked on Crisis Text Line, you can donate here. Um, and I will actually put on the screen here some numbers if you are feeling really low and you don't want to phone um, anyone or you just want to text somebody instead of a phone call. I will leave the numbers on the screen, but all of the AdSense from this video, I will be donating to Crisis Text Line. So yeah, I just thought I would do that because I know that it's been a very tough year and probably a tough Christmas for a lot of people. So yeah, should we just get into it? <laughs> that was a very long winded intro. Um, I guess I will start, you know what? I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing because this was one of my presents from James. So what we actually did this year is uh, me and James opened our presents from each other in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we Zoom called with his family and we Zoom called with my family just so we could have a chat on Christmas and kind of see each other open our gifts. And one of the first things that I opened was what I'm wearing right now, which is a lounge set, pajama set, which I think was from New Look, right? Mm -hmm. But it was New Look on ASOS. So yeah, that's the first thing I opened. It's very comfy and I thought I would just wear it for this video. We're just having a quick intermission while Pinky eats her dinner. Come on. Look how big she is. She's a giant. Also from James, I got some classic pants and some socks because what would Christmas be without pants and socks? He also got me this eye mask, which I've got to say, I normally hate eye masks that cover my eye. <laughs> Obviously they cover my eyes. They're an eye mask. So I hate regular eye masks, like the classic ones that just have the elastic around the back because I usually find that they're too tight on my head or they're too big or they squish my nose too much. And I hate, <laughs> pink, 
Yes. <laughs> I hate anything kind of pushing on my nose or putting pressure on my nose. I just hate the feeling of a blocked nose. And so usual eye masks, absolutely hate them. But James got one of these recently and I tried it one morning when Pinky had woken us up at about 5 a.m. to get back to sleep because all the light was coming in through the window. I tried this one and it is the comfiest eye mask I've ever worn. And I don't think I will ever wear another one. So it feels like a quilt. It's so soft and squishy and yeah, it feels like a duvet or something it's so nice and really really soft but the best thing about this you can adjust it fully to your head so i can put this on so loosely to the point where it covers my eyes but it's not pushing on my nose at all and i just absolutely love it it's the comfiest eye mask I've ever worn and I would highly recommend it to everyone. This is the only eye mask that I've actually ever been able to fall asleep in without ripping it off my face after about five minutes. So that was a good one. Also from James, I got the Ariana Grande Thank You Next perfume, which I've wanted for a while. I've got a couple of her other ones, but I wanted to expand my collection, you know? And it smells really good. I would say this one's definitely more of a summer fragrance. It smells quite coconutty and tropical but it smells really good and it comes in this giant love heart thing um, but you can take it out. I mean, the packaging isn't my favorite. I think I prefer the packaging for Cloud. It smells nice, so thank you, James, for this. You're welcome. <laughs> he also got me a new coat, which I did actually find myself and then send him because I'm quite specific with my fashion choices. Although, you pick this and you pick the next thing and I'm quite happy with those. But anyway, this is just a black puffer coat, which is a little bit longer. This, is, this was actually from Topshop. I think it was on sale, it was really affordable, and it's got a hood, it's very squishy, it feels like a duvet, it's got pockets at the front, and it's just kind of like a dog walking coat. That's what I wanted it for, just a warm, cosy coat that I can just put on over every, anything to walk pinky. So yeah, I absolutely love it. This is in a size eight petite, and it fits me absolutely perfectly over like comfy loungewear and stuff. Yeah, the sleeves aren't too long. I was really, really happy with that. Another thing that I got from James, which is, amazing and actually i think he's worn this more than i have already so this is called a comfy and it's one of those giant blanket hoodie oh it's upside down hoodie things i think there's also a brand that makes them called the udi or udi or something but this one is a by a brand called the comfy and it is just the biggest comfiest hoodie this does come down to like my ankles but it, it feels like a giant fluffy blanket and it is so comfortable for just chilling on the sofa with so i absolutely love this and i'm gonna put it on after this video probably the next thing that he got me is so random but i'd seen these i can't even remember where i saw them i think it was on like twitter or something these are a pair of tights which seem so random they look really short like this and just a word of warning they are actually quite short they're just about fine on me, but I'm five foot two. So maybe if you're a bit taller, I would get the ones that don't have the feet bits because you can just get like the legging sort of versions. I don't really wear skirts and dresses that often, but I really want to because I don't know, I think they look really cute, but I hate being cold and they are slightly more impractical. But on my skinny dip shoe, I was put in a skirt that I thought looked really cool with some big chunky boots. And these tights, look like okay when when they're just like this they just look plain black but when they're on your leg it looks like your skin underneath and it looks like you're wearing a pair of sheer black tights but on the inside it's actually like tan sort of color and i think you can get these in different colors for different skin tones so it looks like you're wearing a pair of nude tights not a nude tights like sheer black tights but they're actually like thick and furry on the inside which is the most genius thing ever and i did actually wear these on christmas day and they were so comfy and i didn't get cold as you can probably see i was completely spoiled by james this year i was not expecting this much stuff and this was a complete surprise to me because i had said that i wanted a food processor but i meant just like a super basic bog standard one james got me one of these which is called the Ninja Food Processor. I wanted a food processor because we don't have one and I quite enjoy making cakes and brownies and stuff, but we didn't have anything to mix it with. So, so far I was doing everything by hand, which is long because I'm very weak, but this can do cakes, it can do pizza dough, it can shred 
vegetables, it can slice vegetables, it can grate cheese. There's all sorts of things that you can do with this and yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a very cool food processor and I'm very excited to use it. Um, so yeah, this was my main present, which I'm so excited about. I'm quite excited to get a big block of cheese, put it in here, put it on the grate mode and then just have like an unlimited supply of grated cheese. And then you can just whack it in the freezer and then I can stop buying those bags of grated cheese that you can't recycle the packaging. So I'm very happy about that. And that is everything that I got from James. And yeah, like I said, I was very spoiled this year. Pinky, do you mind? From my parents, we were so spoiled with one of these. This is a Dyson V8 Absolute Pro vacuum cleaner, which I did mention in one of my videos was the main thing that was on my Christmas list this year was a new vacuum cleaner because the one that we currently had was an old one that my parents had lent us, but it's really, really heavy and it's got a cable and everything and it doesn't have that many attachments. Whereas this one is cableless, what's it called? Cordless. And it comes with a whole bunch of different attachments and it's just so much better than the vacuum cleaner that we currently had and I was very, very excited about this. We were both very, very excited about this. So mum and dad, thank you so much. Yeah, so I specifically said to my parents, please don't get us a Dyson because they're very expensive and we would be perfectly happy with any cordless vacuum cleaner to be honest. But my dad said they got a really good Black Friday deal. So <laughs> thank you mom and dad for this. We, well, we've already used it and it was great. It was amazing. It's a great vacuum cleaner. So thank you so much. And then they did get me a couple of other bits as well, which was so nice of them because obviously like the vacuum cleaner was the main thing. Wasn't expecting anything else. I know that they got one of these for me and one for my brother. Oh, it's turned around the wrong way. This is a Moomin Christmas decoration, which I absolutely love. I have mentioned on my channel before that I'm a big fan of the Moomins. My dad used to read me and my brother the books when we were younger. And yeah, I just love Moomin. I think it's so cute. So this is a glass Moomin decoration for the tree, obviously, which I'll get out and show you in a sec. And they also got me a tin one, which which is red, which matches the theme of our tree. And it's just got Moomin and, oh, what's her name? I think it's the Snork Maiden hugging on it. And this one actually opens, so you can put something inside it. You could put like chocolates in here or something or a little gift or something. So I thought these were so thoughtful because my parents know that I love the Moomins and, and they got one, one for themselves and they're all slightly different designs. So this one, this one is just Moomin riding on a reindeer and then it's got snow all around it. And I'm gonna be very careful with this because it is glass and I'm very clumsy. And my mum, it did actually come with a blue ribbon, but my mum actually put in a red ribbon on here because she thought it matched our tree better. But I just love this. I think it is so cute. And I thought that was such a thoughtful present. So thank you, mum and dad. They did get me a chocolate orange, but I already ate it all. I ate half of this earlier when I was on a Zoom call with Jazz and Sophie. <laughs> they got me a new diary. My mum usually gets me one of these every year. This is by a brand called Busy Bee. And these are the best diaries or like if you're American, what do they call them, like planners. But this brand is so good because it has little pockets in there. These are just really good little diaries, so hopefully I can keep a bit more organized this year, Organ more organized than I was the previous year. My dad got me these, which are to go in the back of your shoes. So I haven't actually tried them out yet, but it's kind of like a shoehorn, but you keep them on the back of your shoes by the door. So as soon as you take your shoes off, put these on the back of them, and then they help you slide your shoe into your foot. Into, no, wait, what? <laughs> I don't think I'm okay, I think I'm quite hungry. Um, you slide your foot into your shoe without treading down the backs of your shoes because <laughs> my dad used to get so annoyed at me that when I lived with my parents, obviously, all of my shoes, I would just end up squishing down the back of them because I couldn't be bothered to undo the laces. So he got me these. And then the last thing that I think my dad also picked out as well is some tiramisu Baileys liquor type stuff. Um, I'm a big fan of Baileys and I love anything that's coffee flavored um, and I love tiramisu. Tiramisu is my favorite dessert ever. So this is tiramisu flavored, which I'm so excited for. You know what? I'm gonna try a bit now. I'm not sure where I got this. I'm not sure where he got this from. I'm assuming it's from like a little independent um, store or something. Oh my God, that smells so good. Should I just swig it from the bottle? Yeah, do it. Give it a good old swig. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. That's better than Bailey's. Yeah, we have this other like big bottle of 
stuff that's really similar to Bailey's in the kitchen as well, as well as a big bottle of Bailey's. And now we have this. So, I mean, I'm not gonna need any more anytime soon, but oh, that is so delicious. Thank you, mum and dad. So that was the last thing from them, I think. From my grandparents, they gave us some money, which was very, very nice of them. Thank you, Nan, if you're watching. I know that she sometimes watches my videos. Thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, if you are watching Nan, uh, I hope you're okay and I hope you're having a good day even though I did message you the other day But she also got me this which is an elephant tea light holder because as you guys know if you've been here a while I love elephants so she got me this really cute holder which I absolutely love and also some tea lights to go with it Oh, and then also some socks I can't forget the socks some Monet socks and some Van Gogh socks. So thank you Nan I did actually need some new socks and I love funky socks. So I would definitely be wearing these Oh my god, these are the most genius invention ever from my brother and his girlfriend They got us some vegetable bags, which wait you might think it sounds really boring Okay to a lot of people this is gonna be very boring, but we were very excited about these. These are some bags that you obviously put your vegetables in. So this one has just got some nice carrots on the front. And then this one has got potatoes. Yeah, potatoes on it. And with these, you put all your potatoes in here so that they're not just like sitting in your cupboard loose and going weird and rolling all over the place. And then there's a flap. So there's like a potato chute. So you put your potatoes in here and then when you need one, you just open the flap take one out which I think is a genius idea and then this one we're probably gonna put onions in so thank you so much to my brother and his girlfriend for these we are very excited to use them I can tell you a lot of this home stuff I was absolutely in my element with because that's all I wanted this year and then finally the stuff that I got from James's family they did get us quite a few joint things so they got us an air fryer which is very exciting and we actually used it last night to make our own chips so thank you so much to them for that so James's mum did actually put together some stockings for us which were very cute or well I mean it's technically not a stocking because it's in a bag but you know what I mean. And in here, there's just things like a chocolate orange. I've got some of my favorite chocolate in here, which is Galaxy Salted Caramel. And there's just a few like foodie bits, some hot chocolate stuff and things like that. So thank you very much for these. Another joint present for the both of us, which I think is the best idea. And I actually got something quite similar for James. It's an online cooking class. This one is to cook Indian food. So we've got a voucher in here that we can use. And also in the bag, there's like spices and stuff. This bag smells absolutely amazing. There's all like different curry powders in here. And me and James love cooking. And so they got us an online curry cooking class to learn how to cook Indian food, which I'm so excited for. We're both so excited for this. It's a, lo it's a local uh, it's a local business that does it and she makes her own spices. So yeah. There's the, like, her own spices and everything. Mm -hmm. And oh my god, I think I just got some of it in my eye because now my eye is burning. So another thing that we got from James's parents is some coasters and placemats for the table because we only had some really cheap ones that we'd bought. I was going to say when we first moved in, moved in, but we only actually bought them like a couple months ago. And they got us two sets of these, which are like slate placemats and matching coasters so we've actually got eight of them but I just thought I'd take one off the table just to show you because I didn't want to bring the whole box but these are so nice and yeah we we needed some that were more modern and more fashionable than the ones that we had and I'm so happy with these so thank you so much to those if you're watching. <laughs> I also got some or we also got I guess because they're more house stuff some tea light holders which are gold and then they've got these little flexing them. Oh, I've got one of the one of the tea lights from my nan in here. So this is just a set of three and my camera is about to run out of memory. Another thing that James's mum got me, which is just before I forget, it's been sitting here this whole video, it's a chunky knitted throw. I'd seen these on Pinterest, I think it was, or Instagram, some home account, and it's just a giant knitted like yarn throw which is so soft and so squishy and I just think it looks so nice just draped over the sofa so I was absolutely thrilled with that because I hadn't even said a specific throw but I had been looking at ones that were really really similar to this. James's mum also got me the Ariana Grande sweet like candy perfume which I was not expecting because she'd already got us all of this stuff as well. Um, thank you so much. I'm not gonna say her name, but James's mum, if you're watching this, she just went absolutely 
mad this Christmas, which we were both so ridiculously grateful for. This is one of the Ariana Grande perfumes that I didn't have as well. And then I think the final thing from James's parents was this, which is the Hotel Chocolat Gin Collection, which comes with two mini bottles of gin. It comes with some gin chocolates. These are absolutely delicious. I have eaten a couple already. And gin is definitely one of my drinks of choice. A lot of the time recently over the past sort of year, I've been drinking a lot of pink gin and lemonade or gin and lemonade or just gin with anything really. I'm not a massive fan of gin and tonic, which I know is the most popular gin drink, but like gin and elderflower, oh my God, one of my favorite things. This is cocoa gin, which I'm so excited to try. And then it also came with some 65% super milk puddles, which also sound delicious. And then his sister also got us a few home bits, which I'm absolutely in love with. This is a stack of mugs, as you can probably tell, which is gonna sit in our kitchen so nicely. I'm a bit of a mug collector and yeah, I love collecting different styles of mugs and they all stack on top of each other and it comes with its own holder thing so they won't take up more room in the cupboard which is pretty great. She also got us this which we think technically is a milk jug but we use this for gravy and if you can see any gravy stains on it it's because we used it yesterday and I haven't washed it up yet so that's really nice as well. She also got us this gorgeous photo frame which is from Oliver Bonus and we don't have any photos up at the moment so we definitely need to put some up and we will put something in here, maybe a nice photo of us and Pinky. <laughs> and then the final thing is this honey and saffron fragranced diffuser, which is shaped like an elephant because like I mentioned earlier, I love elephants and anything with elephants on it. And I think that this is absolutely beautiful. So it's just a reed diffuser. Oh, and this is from Don Elm. I love Don Elm. And then from one of James's family friends who they're really, really close with, she got us some matching mugs which have got an S and a J on them, which is so cute. And inside the mugs, we've got one of those chocolate, um, hot chocolate things where you stir this into hot milk. And then she also got me a fluffy hot water bottle as well. So thank you so much for these bits. And then the final present. I think this is the final thing. Like what the hell this Christmas, we have both been so spoiled. I don't think, I don't think I've ever got this much for Christmas. And Honestly, like my parents and James's parents and James's family and my family, if anybody is watching this that gave us anything this Christmas, thank you so much. We were not expecting this stuff. Like, yeah. <laughs> On Christmas day, me and James were actually a bit speechless. The final thing is a present which was actually from my management team. And this is a, I don't know how to, dis I don't know how to pronounce this. This is a candle by Le Labo, which is actually the brand that makes Taylor Swift's favorite candle. My management did not know that, but I was very, very excited when this arrived. It smells really good. And this one is called Laurier 62. Thank you so much to my management for this. I think that is everything. And yeah, we just played games. We played a game online called Scriblio. And then on Boxing Day, we played Mario Kart with my brother. Um, well, actually I did while James had a nap. <laughs> and we cooked our first Christmas dinner, which turned out really nice actually. Um, and yeah, we had a really nice day and we're both so grateful for everything that we got. And also we're just really grateful that we were able to be with each other and obviously have Pinky on Christmas and not be completely alone. So yeah. That was Christmas 2020. Weirdest year ever. Um, but hopefully next year will be better. And hopefully next year we can actually spend Christmas with our families. That is it for this video. I hope you guys are all doing okay. And I will see you soon. I don't know when I'm going to see you. I might not see you till the new year. If I don't see you till the new year, happy new year. Let's hope that 2021 is better <laughs> than this year has been. Um, I'm sure it will be. I really, like, I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Low key for 2020.